Hey everyone, I just wanted to create a quick video here just showing you how to properly insert an image from screencast.com or any other kind of image hosting service such that you can grab that image and properly paste that in through to the forums and have the image display inline instead of just a link to that image. So let's have a look at that. So let's say that I'm in here, I'm writing my post and I suddenly want to insert an image. Now if that image is already stored inside a uh, image hosting service, say like Screencast, you can see here that what most people would do is they'll probably grab that URL, copy that, and then paste that in through to here, like that, and then maybe say create thread. So what's going to occur now is that it's essentially just a link. So I can open that up and as you'd expect, that opens up that link. So that's fine, that's potentially one way, but you can see that you don't get the ability to see the image in line. So if I were to go back in here and say, well, all right, instead of just throwing in that link, I'm going to chop that off, and then I'm going to go through to the image icon and see if I can paste it in here. It says, what's the image URL? So I'm going to paste the screencast URL in there. So that might do it, right? Well, hang on, what's that? So if I click on Save Changes, you can see that it basically says no go, <laughs> right? So uh, that didn't work either, unfortunately. So then you say, all right, well, how do I do it? How can I actually put the image in? Well, you do have to click on that little picture icon in order to paste the image, but this is asking for the image URL itself. And if we go through to the screencast uh, or image hosting service, typically this page has a lot of other stuff on it. So you can see here that you've got header content, buttons, you've got a footer, and then you've got the image embedded inside that particular page. But you can see that the URL doesn't end in something like a .gif or a .jpg or a .png or something like that. So it's actually not the URL to the image. It's the URL to the page which the image is contained within. So how do we grab the image URL? Well, it's actually quite easy. All you've got to do is you've got to right click on the image itself and then th this depends on your browser but in Chrome it's copy image address okay now it's not copy link address by the way it's copy image address this actually grabs the URL of the image itself so I've done that and now let me up open up a new tab and kind of show you the URL so you can see here it's a long URL but see how it finishes in PNG right so it's got to finish up in PNG JPEG or or GIF or something like that something that it's an actual image so if I click on that you can see that that's the full image that you want. So now let's try that. So now let's go back. Actually, let's make sure I've got that copied in. Control C. And then I'm going to go to image URL and paste that in. And hey presto, there's our image. So I click on save changes and we've got the image in. Okay. And this little thing will disappear after it refreshes, but um, that's essentially how you add an inline image from a image service. And remember the key thing is to go to the page you want to right click and you want to say copy image address and then that is the one that you put in through to the image URL box. Alright, hope that helps. Talk to you later.